the Lloyd's Building. It's distinctive, it's unique, it's instantly recognisable. I'm running out of neutral things to say about it. Let's talk history. The Lloyd's Building was completed in 1986 to a design by Richard Rogers and Partners to house the insurance market Lloyd's of London. It sits in the financial district in the City of London. Lloyd's specialised in shipping. They were founded in 1686 and took their name from Lloyd's Coffee House on Tower Street. Now, the history of Lloyd's as a company is pretty interesting in itself, but I fear that going into too much detail would distract from the point of this video, so I'll just say that as they expanded, they took on various different headquarters before moving here in 1928. During the 20th century, Lloyd's continued to grow, moving twice in 50 years. In the 1970s, it was decided to build something altogether larger. The old building was demolished, though the entrance remains, and a new one was thrown up in its place. The new building was certainly radical. It's an example of a kind of architecture known by the unfortunate term bowelism meaning that the utilitarian aspects of the building, pipes, lifts, ducts, etc., are located on the outside to maximise the interior space and make maintenance and replacement easier. The Pompidou Centre in Paris is another example of this school of architecture, influenced by radical ideas of architects in the 1960s. Rogers and friends were particularly influenced by Archigram, a group who envisioned a machine-driven, consumerist future of walking and floating cities. It's an interesting idea, although God only knows how you'd get a tube line through a walking city. Rather than being a single megastructure, the Lloyds Building is actually three towers gathered around a central atrium. It's designed to appear modular, as if bits can be attached by Lego. In fact, it was designed with the possibility of future expansion in mind. It's intended to appear functional and even unfinished, with aspects of its construction retained in place. It's all terribly postmodern, darling. Its uniqueness received an unusual tribute in the film Guardians of the Galaxy, in which it appeared as part of the alien city on the planet Xandar. On the inside, the space can be reconfigured with movable partition walls, and it includes several escalators to give a feeling of busyness. The interior also, incongruously, incorporates an 18th century dining room, dismantled and reassembled from a building across the road. Surprisingly, despite being less than 40 years old, the building was Grade 1 listed in 2011, putting it on a par with the likes of St Paul's and the Houses of Parliament. Personally, I have mixed views about it. As an architectural thought experiment, it's certainly interesting, and there's no denying that there's nothing quite like it. If it existed in a vacuum as a concept, then I might even like it. If I saw it in a Judge Dredd comic, say, I'd probably praise the artist for their imagination. I try to be fairly neutral about architecture in these videos, even if it's not to my taste, but I find the Lloyd's building, frankly, a little arrogant. It's not intended to fit in with the city around it, or to provide a pleasing structure for the public. Quite the opposite. It's designed to please the building's occupants by putting the building's uglier aspects where they can't see them, but the public must. Can you imagine an entire city made up of buildings like this? It would look like a steelworks. Still, I suppose you can't get much more 80s than a building that's designed in the interest of high finance, with no regard for the little people. So, I hope you enjoyed this look at the Lloyds building, or at least that it stirred some sort of emotion in you. Hit like if it did, and consider subscribing for more. But what do you think? Am I being too harsh? Am I being overly conservative in my tastes? Do I just not get it? Or do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments section below, and I'll see you very soon for another video looking at the sights of London. Cheerio bye!